Yeah, hello everybody. Um, I'm Ross Welford. You might have come across some of my books, uh, Time Travelling with a Hamster, What Not to Do If You Turn Invisible, Not Forgetting My Latest Book, which is uh, The Kid Who Came From Space. And uh, I'm here in uh, the British School in Kuala Lumpur answering some of uh, your questions, uh, which you have uh, emailed uh, to your teachers, and I've got them all written out here and I'm going to try and answer as many as I can in the time that I've got available and I'm just going to pretty much choose them at random so if I get to you if I get to your question that's great if I don't terribly sorry but um, it's all pretty much uh, all pretty much random so I'm going to start with uh, a question that a lot of you have asked in various different ways uh, from uh, Kate who says what inspired you to be an author or sign Yi says what inspired you to pursue a career as an author uh, Kiao says uh, what gave you the inspiration to write all different variations of the same question which is how did I become an author what made me uh, start writing and uh, the answer to that is um, I kind of needed a new change in my life I'd uh, been working as a television producer um, and then for most of my 40s, I was um, a full-time uh, full dad um, and also doing work in television, in script writing and uh, a bit of television production. But I was getting to the end of my, um, I was getting towards the end of my 40s, I was 49, and I realized that uh, my work as a television producer was drying up and I needed something else to do. I had an idea for a story that I'd wanted to write for a little while. It was just kicking around in the back of my head. And that story was uh, what became Time Traveling with a Hamster. The uh, story involved um, a boy who discovered a time machine and he uh, ended up on some extraordinary adventures. It took, uh, took me quite a while to, uh, to write it, to get the finished version of it. Um, when I had finished it, um, I sent it off to an agent, the agent sent it to um, a publisher and lucky me it became a success and my career was kick-started. So that's how, that's how that happened. Um, let's choose another one. Um, an easy one here from Katie Horgood who says, how long does it take on average to write a book? Uh, the answer to that is about a year. Um, at least it is for me. Um, I know other authors can uh, write quicker than that. Um, and a lot of authors take a lot, lot longer than that. Um, but for me, I have a book coming out every January, and it takes um, takes about a year in between each of the, uh, in between each of them. So uh, thanks for that, Katie. Um, let's take another one. Um, what's the hardest part in writing books? Um, and that is from uh, Soyun. The hardest part of writing books. For me, is the start, uh, getting the start of the book right. I might have, um, I might have a great idea for a, a theme of what I want to write about, um, but getting started is always the hardest bit. I can rewrite and rewrite the opening of a book again and again and again until I'm happy uh, that it's uh, until I'm happy that it's going the way I want it to do. Once it's up and running. Um, I find it easier to continue. I've got the characters sorted out, I've got um, things like the essential location and the situation started, but that can take several chapters um, to get that up and running, and that can take me ages. So uh, for me, it's the opening. Uh, so um, Dennis asks me, how did you choose the themes for my writing? Um, by which I guess um, that question means uh, why do I write about science fiction um, and not all of it science fiction but it all has a science fiction-y flavour and the reason for that is pretty much uh, came from my very first book which is Time Travelling with a Hamster um, that had time travelling as, as its theme, it had a science fiction theme and once I wrote it and my publishers um, wanted wanted me to write another, I thought uh, I might as well write something of a similar uh, fantastical, um, impossible nature. And once I'd written the second one, which was What Not To Do If You Turn Invisible, 
I realised I had a brand. I had something that was recognisable as my sort of writing, and so I carried on writing in that uh, in in that genre. So uh, that's that's why I write like that. Um, another one is uh, from R Rushan or Ruxan. Um, which is my favourite character? My favourite character, if it's one that I, uh, in a, if it's in a book that I wrote myself, it has to be either Grandpa Byron in Time Travelling with a Hamster, maybe Roxy Minto in One Thousand Year Old Boy, or in the book that I've just written, I really like the character of Philip the Spaceship. Um, he's not a person, he's, uh, he's a computer programme, um, artificially intelligent computer program that tries to make jokes, usually fairly unsuccessfully, and uh, and he was really fun to write. So uh, I would say at the moment those are my three favourites. Uh, next question: um, Where do I write my books? And that is from Sia. Well, I have a um, I have an office in my uh, in my house in London. And when that gets too noisy, because I have a family as well, um, I'm lucky that I have a, a little house in the country which is totally silent. And uh, so when everything gets a bit too hectic, I can uh, pack me and my laptop and my dog into my car and uh, I go off to a um, place called Calmscott in Oxfordshire in, uh, in the south of England where it's totally silent, it's just me and the dog, and uh, I can normally get quite a lot of writing done then, so I, I like writing there. Uh, let's see, what else have I got here? Um, there was, uh, oh, uh, Isabel asks, do I have any children? Yes, I have two uh, twins who are, uh, each, uh, each of them is 17, a boy and a girl. Isabel also asks, what is my favorite book not by myself? Ah, that changes all the time, Isabel. Um, Long-term favourites, I would have to say, uh, are A Tale of Two Cities by um, Charles Dickens. I love that book. It's really, really good. Highly recommended read. I don't know how old you are, but if you're, um, if you're older than about 13 or 14, I think Tale of Two Cities is great. Um, if not, try an abridged version. Um, and it's a really, really good story. Um, a, a book that I love dipping into now and then um, because I know it so well, I can just open it at any page and I know I'm going to enjoy it, is To Kill a Mockingbird by uh, Harper Lee. Um, again, probably not suitable if you're uh, under about the age of 13 or 14 um, because some of the themes um, are quite adult, but it, uh, once you're in your teens, I think it's a really good book. So uh, I recommend that one. Um, as for children's books, I would have to say uh, I have two. Uh, one is The Magic Faraway Tree by Enid Blyton, which I think is great um, for very young children. And for slightly older children, try uh, The Bridge to Terabitha, um, which is fabulous and moving and um, really worth a read. Uh, carrying on with this, uh, let me see. Um, Renee asks, what tips would you give for better writing? I think the best tip that I can give for um, somebody trying writing for the first time is something that most first-time writers don't get around to doing. And that is finish your book. Finish what you've started writing in any way you can. Get to the end, type those words, the end, and then you can go back to the top and start to rewrite it, which is the key to all good writing, start to rewrite it and make sure uh, that you make it, uh, make it good. But unless you actually finish it, very often you won't even know what it's about. So uh, get to the end, one way or another, leave as many plot holes as you like, because nobody's going to read your unfinished book. Uh, get to the end, rewrite it, and then, uh, then you'll have something, something worthwhile. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Um, oh, Ian, Ian Wong says, what is my dog's breed? That's easy, um, she's a collie. There you go, if you like collies, Ian, uh, you're, you're in good company. I, uh, I like collies myself. 
Uh, how many dogs do I have? Just the one, one is enough. And do I have any other pets other than my dog? Um, yes, I have uh, tropical fish. And we did have a hamster. That answers another question on here. We did have a hamster, but hamsters are not very long lived, unfortunately. So, um, sorry about that. Uh, what else? And how, how long have we got? I'm just asking my producer behind the camera there. Um, ah. Uh, Dhruv, Dhruv Sri said, uh, when did I start writing? Well, that was about seven years ago. Seven or eight years ago I started writing. And uh, he also says, what is my next book called? I wish I could tell you, Dhruv. Um, I don't know. Titles very often come uh, come later for me. Uh, there was only one book I ever wrote, which was the thousand, the one thousand year old boy, uh, where I knew the title right from the start. Um, all of the other titles have come pretty much after I've finished writing it. So um, yeah, I don't know what the next one's going to be called yet. Um, that'll be decided later. And I think. That has to be my, um, my last question. So thank you for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you've got any other questions, get in touch with me. So uh, thanks very much. Carry on reading. All the best. Bye-bye.